This video is about finding um, declination on a map, what the declination is for a particular area, and then also making a calculation to adjust for changes over time in declination, because the Earth's magne magnetic field shifts um, over time by a certain percentage, and therefore if you have an old map you need to make adjustment for this. So what we have here is a, a large map of an area of the Drakensberg, in southern Africa, uh, which is one of the largest mountain ranges in that region. And you'll see um, over here, that's the Lesotho side, which is sort of a former British protectorate, now an independent state. And, and then this is the South African side. Okay. Um, if you look at any map, you're going to have the basic map, and you're going to have the latitude and longitude um, on the sides of the map then as you progress somewhere along the map usually on the bottom you'll have a legend the legend basically gives you information about the map um, what the symbols mean on the map so that you can get a clearer understanding of what's going on um, it'll also give you information such as the height in meters above sea level um, contours how far they are spaced, in this case it's 20 meter intervals, um, and they'll also give you an indication of what peaks and beacons and you know um, heights look like on the map. Okay, but we're interested in this video on declination. So here on the side of the map you can see they've got true north, indicated by the arrow, so pointing directly up, and then you've got magnetic north which is deviating, deviating to the west of true north um, in this area and it says mean magnetic declination 20 degrees 36.3 minutes west of true north January 1999 so that's when it was um, measured and then the mean annual change is 6.1 minutes westward having read off the declination from the map as 20 degrees 36.3 minutes western declination and having found out that 6.1 minutes mean annual declination change occurs per year and knowing that the map was actually created in January 1999 and it's now January 2019 we therefore know that the total number of years difference is 20 years so that means it's 6.1 minutes over a 20 year period change in declination is 122 minutes of change. Um, 122 minutes divided by 60 gives you 2.033 degrees. Um, if you want to convert the degrees in decimals to minutes, degrees in minutes, um, you must divide the point no, multiply sorry the 0 0.033 by 60 that gives you two degrees and 1.98 minutes new new declination is therefore 20 degrees 36.3 minutes plus two degrees 1.98 minutes and that gives you a total of 23 degrees 38.28 minutes which is your declination for the present time